Now, with educators about to become eligible, the question becomes how they'll actually get the vaccine. Joe Hinkey continues our team coverage, speaking to several districts about their plans. School district leaders I talk with today say they are hopeful once vaccinations begin, they will see fewer COVID-19 cases and their teachers will also be able to teach with a little bit less stress. That's exactly what has played out in Albert County over the past month. Since January, when 175 out of 500 Elbert County Schools employees received the COVID-19 vaccine after being offered by a local health care provider, fewer teachers have been calling out sick or needing to quarantine. Um, the mindset of our employees, um, the ones that took the shot, have been tremendous. I mean, and Superintendent John Jarvis says some teachers previously against the vaccine are telling them they now want to be vaccinated too. Now they have more confidence in it. They've seen their um, counterpart, their colleagues that elected to take the shot the first time. In Forsyth County Schools, the district recently completed vaccinations during clinics at a mega church for staff already eligible because they are 65 or older. It's a great way for us to do a run through as to what it will be like to um, offer the vaccine for almost 7,000 employees. Forsyth plans to use the church again for mass vaccination clinics with school nurses administering doses when available for all educators and school staff. Forsyth also seeing uninterested teachers changing their minds. Whenever we first sent out the survey, we had some individuals come back a week or two later and say, I changed my mind based on someone's experience with the vaccine, or they may have done research on their own. In the Fulton County School District, 500 employees who are already eligible were recently vaccinated. The district partnered with the County Board of Health and used space inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Now that model will be used for two six-day sessions for each round of doses to vaccinate thousands more Fulton County School employees. And just that positive environment is going to return once again. Douglas County's superintendent says the vaccine will remove a sense of nervousness for his teachers, but he will be asking them to remain committed to the current best health practices, even once vaccinated. You're reminding ourselves and supporting one another to hold each other accountable, to continue follow the guidelines that have kept us safe. So we will continue to be, remain safe until we are clearly over the hurdle of COVID.